Welcome to England Air Force Base, home of the Flying Tigers. A member of the Tactical Air Command, under the 9th Air Force, and home of the 23rd Tactical Fighter Wing. look down the flight line where all the A-10 aircraft are parked and ready for flight. The first Air Corps mission this afternoon will be tasked to defend the ground units in the India sector. The route will be Bravo route and take it down through Hot Rock. No threats along this area. However, when you do start ingress in the target area, there have been big sighted in the vicinity just west of Toledo Bend Reservoir. As you ingress towards your target, we have positions of SA-8s and SA-6s. There are two advancing battalion strength units with this advance. Uh, this battalion here has the SA-8 and this one has a 6. This is our best location at this time on these two threads. Your two targets are the two bridges just west of Toledo Bend at Victor Echo 653-821 and at Victor Echo 652-836. This is where the enemy forces are most likely to start advancing their troops south. The pilots, having received their pre-mission briefing, now head off into their own little room to talk about their individual flights. Okay, time hack is 12.30. Coming up on 12.31 right now. Mission today is a service attack out in the Toledo Bend area. Call signs mop up. We'll be take, taking off around 1410. Uh, we'll check in at 1355 and start engines about 1340. Use a bingo fuel. Their mission now planned, the pilots head off into their survival equipment room to get their, all their survival equipment on and into their famous G-suits. Leaving the operations building, the pilots walk to the flight line in preparation of taking command of their A-10 aircraft from their crew chief. The pilot and his crew chief now go through pre-flight inspection, looking over the operation of the aircraft and the armament. Flight inspection over. The pilot gets into the aircraft, assisted by his crew chief, to make sure that survival equipment is ready and that the harness to his parachute is buckled up.
If these aircraft were leaving on an actual war mission, the following film footage, courtesy of Fairchild Industries, is probably what some of these pilots may see in actual combat. seven-barrel 30-millimeter Gatling gun that can hold 1,350 rounds and fire 4,200 rounds per minute. Its power and accuracy can destroy a tank 2,000 meters away with a one-second burst, a feat actually accomplished against captured Soviet T-62 main battle tanks. impossible target for enemy aircraft. Heavy jinking, terrain masking, deceptive paint schemes, quiet and smokeless engines, all contribute to minimum detection with maximum battlefield surprise. Survival for the pilot is paramount, and his odds are remarkably improved because he finds himself confidently shielded with titanium armor and covered with a large bullet-resistant glass windscreen. He looks through a canopy that allows excellent visual contact with the combat environment outside his cockpit. His primary control system is hydraulically operated, but the airplane can be manually flown. It's a redundant system so arranged that a high explosive shell is not likely to sever its widely separated control cables running down both sides of the fuselage. An airplane responsive to the power, range, loiter time and fuel reserves needed for effective close air support necessarily carries a large amount of fuel. A-10 fuel is consolidated on the aircraft center of gravity in wing center section integral tanks and in fuselage self-sealing bladder tanks. The fuel is protected by a system using foam-filled tanks and wraparound fire-inhibiting foam. The Maverick is a terminally guided anti-armor weapon with greatly improved hard target penetration. Its warhead size sufficient to assure a catastrophic kill. The aircraft return from their mission, but not to park and sit for the night, to head into maintenance turnaround and be prepared to go on another mission in a minimum of time. remains in his aircraft while the ground crew 
goes to work busily, rearming, refueling, reinspecting, and getting the aircraft ready to go again. Minimum time on the ground, the aircraft is turned around and ready to take off on another mission. <laughs> 